This was their day in court. People struggling with the state's unemployment system, sharing their stories in front of a judge and a top DEO official had to answer questions. The CFO of the Department of Economic Opportunity was grilled about the problems in the unemployment system and Connect website. The attorney for people suing the state asking Damon Steffens if he realized that a broken system would have dramatic effects. You didn't know that? I didn't know COVID was going to happen to cause this massive increase. Fixes were being scheduled. Steffens also revealed the DEO was in contact with at least one major company admitting they made a mistake. You recall um, there was a letter that DEO sent to Marriott employees um, admitting that they were improperly deemed ineligible. I don't want to say misstate something. I've heard of the letter. That is of major interest to thousands of Floridians who say they were incorrectly deemed ineligible despite having worked for the same company for years. This emergency hearing today asking for an injunction ordering the state to pay benefits to applicants was held via Zoom. Hundreds of people tuned in. One of them interrupted the hearing begging the judge for help. Really, you do. You have to protect us. Several people testified about their first-hand problems with the system. I have received zero dollars, not one dollar, in over 45 days, almost 50 days now. One man who worked for a call center company hired by DEO said under oath all he could do there was answer questions. I have no ability to get someone's claim approved. He also testified about issues we've reported on before, like the submit button being grayed out and incomes set to zero. Bob Hazen, West 2 News.